Hello everybody, let's go ahead and get started with a love reading for you. I went ahead and pulled a spread, so we're just going to go ahead and get going. This is for uh, singles, <laughs> it looks like a singles reading. So overall energy, we do have the mask and it talks about hidden motives, concealing, disguising, and lying. Underneath that, we have heartbreak, hurt, betrayal, grief, and disappointment. And then we have also divine intervention. So there was some type of a divine intervention that came in that brought up, um, I feel like somebody's skeletons in the closet is what I get. It's like, you know, what this person's true intentions were. And I think that this individual maybe tried to hide that they were a party animal. Uh, you know, maybe they had some type of addictions, um, cause we do have the toxic attachment, drugs, alcohol, and obsession, and then we have party right next to it, okay? And then we also have, get this, right next to that is breakup. You know, you could have very well, you know, gotten back together, you know, constantly, you know, breaking up, getting back together, breaking up, getting back together. It's like, oh, let's just keep trying because we do have the new love, single, and unfinished business. So it's like, you know, you keep teeter-tottering between, you know, should I just go out and find someone else or, you know... Well, you know, I really love this person, even though we continue to break up. It's like you're single while you're in the relationship, okay? Because I feel like you keep getting back together and you keep breaking up. You keep getting back together and you keep breaking up. You just, it's like you're a glutton for fucking punishment is what you are. That We got ghosted, ex-lover, and regret. You know, they tell you, oh, I'm so sorry that I, I did that. And really, they're lying to you. With the mask here is the overall energy. They're lying. They're hiding stuff. This is a very, like, uh, distorted energy. So whoever of you guys that's dealing with this, this is so beneath you. You know, it's like once they know that they've been caught, once they know that, you know, the, the jig is up is what I just heard, then all of a sudden they come back in and they're like, you know, I, I'm so sorry um, you know, we, I really love you because we've got the breakup, unfinished business and regret right down the line. <sighs> Listen, this person only regrets getting caught. That's what this reading is telling me. They regret getting caught. It's not that they regret what they've done. They're not working on fixing it. What they do is they don't want to hear you bitch about something, so they disappear. That's what ghosted is all about. They just disappear on you. I think you're coming to the conclusion, though, whoever this is, it's like you're finally coming to the conclusion that, you know, it, it just doesn't work anymore. It's just not working anymore. Like, it, it's not, you know, in the past, it may have been easier for you to say, you know, ah, well, you know, they made a mistake or, you know, they love me and, you know, they're sorry and whatever else. <clears throat> I don't think so. <laughs> you, you can't keep slapping, you know, paint on a pig and expecting it to, you know, turn into, you know, Miss Piggy and, you know, be the m most beautiful thing in the world. It's not going to work. You know, I feel like what's happening here is, you know, maybe the substances need to stop, you know, maybe that's your problem. Because you keep getting suckered in to this, it becomes an addiction, just like alcohol, just like drugs, just like, you know, whatever. We can become addicted to the chaos. And I see that here. It's like smoke and mirrors. Whatever this person puts out is smoke and mirrors. And you get mad. You know you don't trust them, but yet you keep going back to them. I, I mean, I just see, look at this, you guys. There's three, four cards. Look, one, two... Smoke and crack, okay, <laughs> drinking, drinking, what's on his nightstand, okay, you can do better for yourself, whoever this is, you can actually do better for yourself, you don't always have to end up with somebody who's got all these addictions and stuff. You know, you actually can have a classier relationship. Someone, you know, it, it's not over because you don't want it to be over. Because again, you feel like there's a side of you that, 
all you're ever going to have is somebody who has addiction issues. So it's like, you don't even try to raise the bar, raise the bar. You're not doomed. Oh, every relationship I get into, it's always going to be like this. No, it's not. Oh, it will be if that's the kind of person that you keep manifesting. You know, I think for some of you, it's almost like you just need to disappear in silence. You know, you need to shut down your social media. You need to delete all their pictures, delete their phone number, delete all the, all the memories. Cause that's what I'm seeing here. It's like, it's time for you to delete the memories. It's like, you know, let them sit and wallow in their regret. Let them sit and do their thing. You know, I, I feel like, it, listen, you know, it's funny because we get together, we find people like at the bar or we find people at a party, right? And we're like, oh my God, this is my one true love. You should have known by where you met them. Now, not all relationships are that way where it's like every relationship is going to be, you know, or the whole relationship is going to be based off a of party. But the majority of them, yeah, yeah, especially if it's got drugs and alcohol. But it's like the moment that you decide to sober up, the moment that you decide like, you know what, I think I need to grow up right now and I kind of want something long term and, you know, this, you know, and you try to get your partner to sober up and they're like, no. The fact of the matter is you don't even know who this person is. You don't even know who this person is. You literally only know the, the facade and the illusion of this person, not really truly who they are because it's based off of this fog. I feel like if you let this person back in, they're going to continue to hurt you. They're going to continue to do what they've already done. It's already been proven. The heartbreak is here. The, the breakup is here. The addictions are here. The regret is here. Like I said, they don't regret the breakup. They regret getting caught. It's like you guys are no longer, once the honeymoon phase is wore off, you're right back to where you were single because they don't want to grow up. Whoever this is, they don't want to grow up. This is one of those not so perfect love stories. That's what I'm getting here. This is a, a, a distorted masculine feminine energy here. I feel like whoever it is that's trying to break free, it's like you're moving more into your divine feminine energy or I mean, divine energy, divine feminine, divine masculine energy. Whereas in the past, you've been connected more to the distorted, but I feel like somebody here is growing up and going, man, you know, I'm not getting any younger and you know, I, I really need to grow up. So it's almost like you're needing to isolate yourself because you have a vision and either this person is going to, you know, buck up and I don't, I don't see that happening though. That's what you're thinking is, you know, there's almost like this, like hoping that this person is going to become your knight in shining armor when really in all actuality, they're just like a ret retard and tinfoil. Like that's what I'm getting from this person. I'm not getting that right now that they're going to be capable of being anything that the, that you want them to be. They're always going to be like, not always, hopefully, you know, we can always hope for the best, but right now, all they care about is having fun and having a good time. That's it. Don't let them schmooze you with freaking flowers because I do see that here because really at the end of the day, they're just going to break your fucking heart again. I'm going to leave that here, you guys. Uh, I'll go into another reading here in just a few minutes after I upload this one to get uh, some messages for the divine masculine and divine feminine. I'll make sure to ask for that. Anyway, you guys, I love you all so much. And we will chat again soon.